you know, first off, just if you could just tell me, you know, what led to your career in the music industry and eventually, you know, led you to be to, you know, be able to release your, your debut album and all that. Like what what got you into the industry originally? Originally, I'm gonna tell you the truth, man, originally, um, I mean, if you want to, you want to go way, way back, or you want, you want to go, you know, when I got signed, because <laughs> it's a uh, industry, man. It's, it's like my life. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's literally, like it's, it's been my life since I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. Um, unlike a lot of other artists, I didn't really grow up into the music industry. Like I didn't have family who was already in the industry, not like that. Like it was pretty much like a shot in the dark, really. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my uh, my pops, and I was like. It was years ago, man, when my pops actually uh, started a record label, and uh, he had a couple artists in the industry uh, that he put out in the industry, and I always looked at those artists and was like, damn, man, I wish I could one day, you know, be like them, you know, be out in the scene and just getting people to hear my music, and, um, you know, I never really, I never really got the chance to, to get out there like that when I was younger, so, you know, he, my pop said, put the other groups out for a few years, worked with them, and I got older, and while he was working with his other artists, I would be in the studio every now and then, and, you know, until one day, he kind of, like, checked out some of my stuff, and was just like, wow, you know, you, you kind of, kind of, like, come up to your own, like, you, you sound good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, then he started working with me, with my own, you know, my own, but I had to kind of, like, prove to my pops, you know, at a yeah. young age, that I can actually compete on a level that he was, um, that he was playing in, so, pretty much, um, he started working on joints and started linking up with producers and different writers and um, did the whole tour thing, man, and showcasing. Like I did the, I did the, the grind, like the true, true grind that the artist goes through. I mean, through open mics and everything. Like you know, it was, it was, it was tough. Yeah, it was tough. But you know, any artist who's like a real artist knows, got to go through all that crazy stuff, man, in order to eventually get there and um you know being from brooklyn you know a little bit tougher because people people think of brooklyn as like the spot where the rappers come out of and i'm a singer so you know telling people you're singing you're from brooklyn they're just like oh, okay all right <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean they, <laughs> they, they 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 have to like really have heard from you about you from somebody else to even listen to you so you know i went through that whole struggle of getting my music out there but like i said my boss had a, a big, a huge hand um, in in my music career at the early ages, at the early stages. Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, you know, the first album was Breathe. And yeah. took us, like, maybe like a year to get that album together. Um, really because we wanted to make sure the chemistry was right. Um, I mean, we had dealt with a lot of producers. You know, like, I, I probably got honestly over 50 or 60 submissions from just different producers in the industry and really didn't you know I was feeling a lot of them but the chemistry wasn't there and, and the song was just really sounding right and then finally we, we um, linked up with Scott Scott Storch and we did a few joints with him and then we uh, did a few joints with Jazzy Faye and really brought it together man um, Scott Storch as you know I did the the second single off that album. Mm-hmm. Um, the first single was from Set Solo. That was Are You Awake? That did pretty well. Yeah. Um, then, then we did Let's Get Away with Scott Storch. That did really well on the charts. We did a video, shot the video in Puerto Rico, and then um, we went to the Fabulous. Fabulous, it's like that's crazy also because I've known Fab and his whole crew since I was younger oh, in wow. Brooklyn. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like. You know, everybody just helped each other out, you know. Um, so the fab to jump on the record and made the remix and yeah. kinda of, everything kinda of just took off from there, man. I mean after after Fab jumped on that record and then after JD Kiss jumped on Are You Awake, it was like everything just kinda of started climbing, man. Like I started just doing tours and then I hopped on the uh, hopped on the Missy Elliott tour. We went did that in Europe and then we came back to America and then we went to Africa and just went all over the place, man. So Mm-hmm. It's like the journey of music can take you anywhere, man. You have no idea where it's going to take you, but yeah. as long as you're in for the ride, got to hold on tight. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on <laughs> tight and just go with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's been fun, man. Okay. It's been fun. It's been a real fun ride. 
tell me a little bit more about the album Breathe, your debut. And, uh, you know, for those, uh, you know, readers and listeners who haven't had a chance to hear that album, you know, what type of sound, um, you know, do you have on there? Well, you know, it's, it's R&B, you know what I mean? Straight up R&B. Um, uh, we've got a few party joints on it. Then we have a few ballads on it. A few mid-tempos. Um, the writers on the album was Mary Brown, myself, um, Phil, Phil D, I'm not sure. Um, if you guys heard of it, it, it's joints, but he's like, amazing, man. Amazing, amazing writer. Um, we also had, like I said, Scott Storch on it. And, um, you know, that, that project, man, was, um, the project was, was definitely, it was my first album, so it was like, it was hard, you know, because yeah. we didn't really know where we wanted to go at first, mm-hmm. you know? We didn't really know where we should take it, we didn't know how we should take it, but eventually we ended up doing a bunch of songs that really matched the world together, you know, it's, it's that true R&B. A lot of people have classified it as, like, a classic R&B album, and mm-hmm. I appreciate that, you know, because that was... That's just like my goal. My goal is always to produce or make records that's classics, you know, versus hits. You know, I, I, that's my thing. I, I like to do classics, you know, more so than do a hit. You know, classics yeah. last forever. It's, you know, hits, hits are high. You know, they hit you for a minute. That's why they call it hits, but they don't really last. So, um, you know, people call it a classic album, and I, I definitely appreciate that. But yeah, you know, that, that's pretty much what, um, what I was looking to do, you know what I mean? And the rest of the looking to put out a classic album, you know, versus an album that was a hit, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I think usually classics last forever, hits kind of just hit you for a few months and then they're gone, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it so good to yeah. know that people actually consider it a, a classic album. Yeah. Um, you know, to this day, man, people still, you know, hit me up and be like, yo, I like that you're missing you, I like that you hurt you bad, and these are the ones that meant so much to me, man, like, you know, whether it was me who did the whole writing of the song, or whether it was another writer who collaborated with me, whatever, or another movie in the song that another writer did, it's like all the songs had some type of meaning to me because I was going through whatever that song was talking about. I was going through that stuff in my real life at that time. Yeah. Um, so you know, it, it's um. So that's that album, and that's that that breathe. Definitely personal album, man. It's like my. Uh, my little baby right there is my first album, man. Felt good, man. Felt good putting it out. It felt good mm-hmm. getting people's reaction from it, you know? Yeah. Like that. Are you awake? Let's get away. Breathe. Hard time, you know? Um, we could keep it cool. That was a jazzy say. Let's get away. Let's stop storage. Are you awake? with that solo. I mean, there's a bunch of joy from them, man. This is cool. It's like, if you, you know, you try to impress a chick, it's like your first night with her, definitely pop it out, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, cool. And then, you know, I know you've been working on, or is it complete now? Your second album, it's all about you. You know, I just, I just like to know how you've grown between the, between the albums. Oh man, terms of growing, oh, from breathe to it's all about you. Uh, I have to say, man, just I've, I've done a lot. Like I've seen a lot. I've experienced a lot as a person, not even as an artist, but just as a person since breathe. And you can definitely hear that um, and see that in the writing on It's All About You. It's just more mature, you know. Um, you know for all my fans who are, who are with me on my first album, the second album, It's All About You, is like they get a chance to grow with me on the album. And uh, it's similar setup in terms of the mid tempos and ballads and the amount of um, party joints we have on it. But um, the feel, man, it's just like fresh, but real fresh sound, you know, like just a nice, refreshing sound to hear. 